Hope of glory. Get to the point where you stop praying about stuff. Yes. And you put your word on it. Yeah. Yes. Tell your neighbor what I just said. Get to the point where you stop praying about stuff. Oh, tell me how you did just pray. Stop praying about Just put the word on it. Now, 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 the one major time where I will emphasize prayer is when there's a situation that you might be unclear about. Lord, I need clear understanding about this so I know what to say about it. Because as soon as I open my mouth and say what I'm going to say, it's going to happen according to my word. So what are you saying about this? What are you saying about this? What are you saying about this situation? What are you saying about this situation? Now, that's how I encourage you to really pray. What are you saying about this situation? And then when God reveals to you what he's saying about that situation, you start saying the same thing. God has not called, called us to be beggars. Yeah, you have. He's called us, watch this, to be regurgitators of what he's already said. Yes. Yes. Lord, what have you said about this? Here's what I said. And then you just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. I challenge you. I challenge you. I've said enough. I challenge you to go into the Old Testament. And read up on Elijah and Elisha and watch them in operation. Yeah. Watch them. The prophet said, according to my words before God whom I stand, it shall not rain these uh -huh. three years. What he said? Come on. Now, when James wrote about it, he said he prayed fervently. All he said was it ain't gonna rain. That was a fervent prayer. Yeah. Because he felt that thing when he said it. Yeah, that's right. Let me ask you something. What do you feel? What do you feel? Now watch, if you're not in the word, you're not feeling the word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Somebody say, ouch. 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 See, if all you're doing is studying your situation mm -hmm. and not studying the word. Come on, preacher. Come on. I know yes. what you're feeling. Yes. Yes. If you're not studying the word, you're studying something else. Mm -hmm. But if you're studying the word, mm -hmm. then you're going to feel that thing. Yes, sir. Whatever is on the inside of you, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let me close with this here. Take this. Catch it. <laughs> Squeeze an orange and you get what? Juice. Squeeze a lemon and you get? Juice. Uh huh. Whatever is on the inside comes out when the squeeze is on. Yes, yes. I know you're right. yes, indeed. yes, indeed. You don't ever have to complain about the squeeze. Yes. Ah. Oh my God. Never complain about the squeeze. Mm -hmm. The only purpose of the squeeze oh, is to get out of you what's in you. Yeah. 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 